back guys uh, in this video we're going to learn how to use our plugin Orient plugin uh, with uh, your pre-existing login form uh, any login form for that matter and uh, create a link over there to reset password and send the password uh, to the user's mobile uh, with an OTP and OTP is basically will be his new password which you can then use to log in onto your site uh, what this basically does is uh, it looks for the user with that mobile number if that mobile number exists in the database and then it goes ahead and updates the user's password uh, that we are sending as the uh, uh, SMS in the mobile so that that password is basically a, a random password uh, secure password that we're sending and that's the same password the user can then use to log in if he's forgotten his existing password and that will be his new password for that mobile number okay so let's begin then so all you have to do is just go to our uh, audience uh, setting uh, you know menu in the admin dashboard and go on to this send forgot password SMS uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, check the selector for the login form so if I check I will look for the form tag in form tag it's SB login form and that's what I put over here make sure to put a hash in case if it's an ID so in, since this is an ID I put hash if it was a class then you would put a dot but preferably put an ID if it's already there if it isn't then you can put the class name with the uh, dot sign okay so and then what you need basically is the meta key for the mobile number uh, so obviously if you already have a pre-existing uh, user that's registered with a specific mobile number you must be saving his mobile number at some place in the database usually um, this is saved in the database uh, as in the user meta table okay so if I go on to the uh, database click on not and I go on to user meta and I click on browse okay I think I do need to increase its size so you can see it clearly okay let's see so as you can see in user meta you have different uh, you know meta keys available you've got the nickname first name description and things like that let's look for just the user one so you click on search I want the use all the information about the user with the user ID one so you've got nickname, rich text editing, all of that stuff. But what we're look, really looking for is the mobile number meta key. Where is the mobile number being saved? Okay. So as you can see over here that the mobile number is being saved as underscore SB contact. And this is the information that we need from you. Okay. So uh, all you have to do is just go to user uh, WP user meta in your database table. Just look for that particular uh, you know, meta key which is storing the mobile number okay on all you have to do is just give us the uh, meta key so in this case it's SB uh, underscore SB underscore contact is the meta key which is uh, storing the mobile number and uh, that's what you need and all you have to do is just uh, put that information over here uh, underscore SB contact and that's what we need okay uh, and the next thing we need is if you are uh, saving the mobile number with any prefixes so if you notice over here we are storing the mobile number with the plus nine one prefixes so you need to tell us that as well because obviously if I don't know whether you are prefixing it or not I won't be able to validate it correctly so you need to tell me whether you're prefixing it with plus nine one if you're not prefixing it with plus nine one and you're just putting the mobile number starting with this up until here then just leave this field blank don't don't fill anything okay uh, and the next thing is obviously the uh, template that you want to use. I've written your new password is so and so within the curly braces. Make sure you include this curly braces because that's where the password will go in the message that the user receives. And just save the changes. Once you save the changes, go back to your site and refresh the page. You will see that you've got a reset password link created automatically. You click on that reset password link and it will automatically have a prefix of plus 91 because you've selected 91 over here 
if you would have selected one which was probably a different country code then at this point you will notice if you refresh the page click on reset password you see plus one so whatever country code you're going to fill over here uh, that that will be prefixed automatically over there which means the user does not have to uh, you know write any prefixes for the mobile number they can simply enter their mobile number here okay just make sure these three fields are filled correctly in fact all fields are filled correctly but these three fields are uh, you know required for all kind of forms and these are common okay so let's change it back to uh, 9 1 don't include the plus sign as I explained earlier okay I've saved it refresh the page and sure enough we will have the plus nine one uh, included when you click on reset password so all you have to do is just put your number there whatever is registered in the database so in our case if you notice the number that's registered is this and I don't need to write plus nine one into the input field because uh, it is already prefixing over here so all you have to do is just put that number click on send new password what this is going to do is it's going to send the password on that particular uh, number you can see new password sent to your mobile okay and that that link will disappear it will come back when you refresh the page if you want to reset it again or if in case you haven't received the um, new password okay so I have got one uh, for myself so I'm gonna just try to log in with that password using the mobile number that we've got so this is the mobile number and I'm just going to use the new password that I've just received on my mobile okay so I put the um, password there and I click on login and sure enough uh, it is logging me in into my IBM profile yep great perfect so I hope you did like this plugin. It's really cool plugin, guys. It has taken a lot of efforts for us to build this plugin and give you so many functionalities that it can work not only with Contact Form 7. You can register a user uh, using the um, in this particular plugin, and you know you can do the mobile uh, OTP verification uh, so that they receive the SMS. If your form doesn't have a mobile input field, it creates one for you. Um, and it also works with any standard login or registration form so if you did like it uh, please do give your reviews uh, as and when this plugin goes live on WordPress and do like and subscribe to my channel okay take care guys bye bye